All right, boys and girls, it's Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. Uh, if you follow my channel, you will have seen the video I posted, well, I posted it this morning, today, uh, on my brand new 2019 Camaro 2SS1LE. Uh, the 2SS is the top trim package for the, F the SS. The 1LE is the track package, more or less. And uh, I'm about to do the basically new new car prep and detail i did not have the dealer do it i bought this car at wesley chapel chevrolet in wesley chapel florida uh, i will link actually I'll, I'll put my sales guys information in the description like i did the other video i am probably well i'm definitely not going to do a huge detail on this car for a couple reasons. The, the main reason is I just don't have time and I've got to get my truck cleaned up today. I'm slam busy with work uh, and I've allotted a few hours to get these two knocked out so that they look decent for me to use them. Um, but as far as the Camaro goes, all I'm going to be doing is I'm going to wash it. I'm probably going to do the first wash with the universal shampoo, a full, full blown traditional wash. Uh, it's pretty hot out today and the direct sunlight is going to keep my clay from uh, working properly on a hot surface. So what I'm going to do is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be spraying it with water to keep the surface cool. So I'm going to go ahead and use universal shampoo uh, for the wash. And then after that, um, I'm most likely going to use universal clean and prep on the wheels and stuff. And then everything is going to get Infinite Use Detail Juice 1 all over it. Now on my personal vehicles, I'm not going to use the coatings. Why you ask? Uh, I'm not going to use Universal Coating or Ultra Endurance Max Coat uh, for the five years of protection. The answer is because I maintain my cars regularly and that Infinite Use Detail Juice 1 is a spray coating with the Ceramic Acrylics technology and it protects awesome especially if you use it regularly i have had up to one year of durability with that product on multiple cars it lasts a good long while it beads it's slick it's glossy it's fantastic but it is designed to not leave a nasty buildup if you use it regularly you will be layering it however uh it's not going to uh change the look of the vehicle other than you are going to be adding gloss and slickness every time and you will get more depth over the time and it essentially will last indefinitely if you use it regularly so that's kind of where we're at i don't have time to do much more than that but beyond that uh, i generally don't put uh, long-term protective products on my personal vehicles because you don't need them you just don't need them if you care about your car and you clean them at least once a month uh, and you clay bar at least twice a year you do not need those fancy products period so and that's me the owner of a <laughs> global product line telling you that coatings and even your high-end sealants and that kind of thing they're not needed if you care about your car they are extra protection. They will allow you to do less maintenance uh, only because um, you can go longer between washes, not because of any other reason. Uh, you literally can set those and then kind of forget them and they will last longer if you do no maintenance in between than you know the infinite use detail juice one and the other you know spray type sealants that are out there um the infinite use detail juice one is a spray coating it has the hybrid the ceramic acrylics pro hybrid technology that only detailjuice.com has so as far as that goes if you maintain your car well you don't need more than just very basic protection um, but you want to use it regularly. So that's the plan. And I'm going to go ahead and get everything uh, pulled out and started. I have my pressure washer already out. I got to get everything hooked up and primed. Uh, I will be using deionized water from all Florida water as I generally do. If you guys are in Florida and you want a, a very affordable DI system, uh, where they're actually swapping everything out, you're essentially renting the, the uh, tanks from them. That's their information. I would highly recommend giving them a call and let them know that Gary Dean sent you. 
I don't necessarily get, in, necessarily get anything for it, but uh, it's good to keep track of uh, the uh, referrals. So anyway, here we go. I'm gonna put you on the tripod after I get everything set up and I'll get the details started. Okay guys, I got everything set up uh, for prep, before polish or before protection, that kind of thing. A lot of times I'll do a rinseless wash with the Gary Dean wash method. Because these wheels are kind of bad and I want to get some protection on the whole car and I just feel like using the universal shampoo, I try to take the opportunities to use the soap on camera as often as I can because you guys know I, I rarely do a traditional wash. I'm nine times out of ten or more I'm doing a, the Gary Dean wash method with uh, Infinite Use Detail Juice 1 or one of my other rinseless products. But for this particular wash, I'm going to go ahead and use the universal shampoo from the brand new one system. And that is it right there. Sorry, I have you in the shade uh, so that you can see me working around the car a little bit. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and use the pressure washer and I'm going to try to break down all the, the loose dirt that's on the car. I am going to go ahead and use a foam cannon. You guys know my opinion on foam cannons is that you're wasting soap. I don't believe that there's any real benefit to spraying the car down with soap. However, if you traditional wash pretty regularly and you do it in public places, it is a fantastic way to get customers to pay attention to what you're doing or potential customers to see what you're doing because it does pro provide the wow factor. So it definitely has its place. I do believe that you're wasting soap by using uh, the foam cannon, but it is what it is. So let's waste some soap, shall we? So pull the cap off and I want to show you this soap comes with a dispensing cap, but I switched mine out for a regular cap. And this cap, man, it smells good. Uh, this soap smells like cotton candy. It's fantastic. This cap actually um, is one quarter of an ounce uh, interior uh, volume. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna put a quarter of an ounce. I'm gonna fill this cap up with the shampoo and I'm gonna put it in this foam cannon. That is, and I dripped a bunch on the side. Go ahead and put that in there. Quarter of an ounce, and I'm gonna fill this uh, thing up with water. You're gonna see how fantastic the beads are. I'm also, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put an eighth of an ounce, which is a half of a cap in the cap. This is incredibly concentrated, guys, this soap is. I'm gonna put a quarter of a, an ounce, or I'm sorry, an eighth of an ounce, which is a half of a capful in the wash bucket. So, total we're gonna use a half, or a quarter of an ounce. So, I might use, I don't know, 16 ounces of uh, this situation, maybe. So anyway, you'll notice there was just a little bit of water left in it from last time, but I put, like I showed you, I put a quarter of an ounce in there. So I'm going to go ahead and dip it in the uh, bucket here and fill it up with water because I have my pressure washer hooked up. It's kind of a pain to get access to um, flowing water when the pressure washer is hooked up. Anyway, you see it's full now. And then I'm going to go ahead and set that to the side. I'm going to go ahead and hose the car down. So now I've got the uh, car all hosed down. I'm going to go ahead and hit it with the foam cannon. Just remember, I only used a one eighth of an ounce of the universal shampoo to fill this whole 32 ounce bottle up with water and produce this amazing sud show you're about to see.
right. I have a solid, even application of foam. And I used about half of this bottle, so about 16 ounces for the car. So that's a, about one sixteenth of an ounce that I used to, uh, to foam the whole car. You want the foam to be thicker than that? No problem, add more soap, but personally, we're already wasting soap in my opinion. So that's all I'm gonna do. Activate the sun. Uh, I have already done uh, the pre-rinse, so I'm gonna actually leave the soap that's there all on the car. And you can adapt your wash to the Garadine wash method. You can adapt the traditional wash, just add more towels. Oh uh, yeah, I can feel all the contaminants on this car. Gonna go ahead and add a few towels to the bucket. Um, I use just regular microfiber towels. Uh, you don't have to use anything fancy. Uh, but these towels that I'm using are absolutely dedicated to just paint. Uh, they're not wheel towels or anything like that. Flip it over, use a cleaning side now. I always get my uh, windshield wiper arms because they get dirty too and down in the cowl. Uh, this, this car is my weekend and or toy car, not my daily driver. Um, so it's gonna be garage kept. Got two more sides I can use. If I need more uh, soap and solution on the towel, I'll scoop it out of the bucket and put it on by hand. Top to bottom side to side versus up and down, you'll, you'll see fewer uh, swirl marks and scratches if you go uh, horizontal versus vertically, uh, I've noticed. I mean, some may feel that to be the opposite way that I just uh, explained it, but it's a good rule of thumb not to go in a circle pattern because that's how swirls are created. Yeah, buddy. Notice how I'm only using four sides of each towel and then I'm discarding it, but the towel never goes back in that clean wash bucket. That is what the Gary Dean wash method is all about. Now the Gary Dean wash method, yes, that's me. I created this, these steps and this method per se back in 2012 and I adapted it soon after for traditional wash. Doesn't matter how you wash, if you're using multiple towels 
and you're never reintroducing the dirt that comes off the car back into the wash bucket, that's the Gary Dean wash method. So I'm gonna go ahead and hose down what I've done so far. Okay, so I just washed the car and I started doing some test spots. This thing has ferrous metal particles all over it, lots of rail dust. I'm guessing you can see all this. These particles are embedded in the paint. Let's see, yeah, you can feel them with your thumb even. Um, so what happens is, if the car may have been on a train, who knows, uh, but the truck that it was on, I'm sure had big brakes and blah, blah, blah. The brake dust goes all over the place. This was actually on the very rear of the, um, of the trailer. I'll, I'll insert a picture of what, where the car was located on the truck. But anyway, all the crap swirls up around the back and landed all over the rear of this car. So all over this bumper, there are basically metal or brake dust particles stuck in the paint. So what that means is you have to remove them. And regular clay, and I'll just show you real quick. There's a soapy towel. And you see all those metal, I'm hoping the camera is picking up all these particles. And this stuff is not coming off in the wash. So I've already washed a couple of times, didn't do anything. This is my um, ultra fine Japanese clay bar. Now with the lubrication of the soap, I can get some of this stuff off. Just in these areas right here. Now there are iron removers out there, which is essentially what we are doing right now. They change color. I believe that to be a crazy gimmick. Notice all the orange on here and that's uh, the color of the rust uh, from the particles. But then I got some of it off. I would say probably 70%. There's still about 30% left. You can see all the particles. You may have seen my video when I used IPC and it's a huge thing in the industry to use IPC and this clay, my infinite purpose cleaner and this clay bar to basically uh, aid in the ferrous metal particle removal. Here's the infinite purpose cleaner that I generally would use uh, prior to releasing the one system. Now the universal clean and prep is even, an even better solution. It actually works even better, but beyond that, it'll leave behind, behind a primer, which will prevent me from having to go behind myself to uh, get more work done. Uh, so, sorry, trying to get you situa situated. I'm gonna go ahead and spray this down. I have already done this side. If you'll notice, you've got all these particles here, but there aren't any over there. So I've already been messing around with it. Go ahead and spray it down. And so we're using the cleaner, the universal cleaning prep, not only as the lube, but we're also breaking down those metal particles as we clay so that they go away and don't look like an eyesore. But beyond that, um, we don't need any magical color changing products to do it. Um, I believe that that is a gimmick. I do not believe that you need a dedicated iron removal product. Those products are incredibly costly compared to uh, my universal clean and prep. As, especially if you do the simple math I tell you about all the time. So, you want to do a few second sections. Knead the clay. I like to rinse the clay off before I knead it. Make sure you're keeping everything wet as you work. Inspect as you go for these particles to be all pulled off. And don't 
you're going to work in a small section. Same thing with overspray removal. You want to work in a very small section. That way, you're not moving on past these particles. And if you want your car to look its best, it should not have these uh, particles all over it. But like I said, you don't need a dedicated iron remover product that changes color and all that bullshit. All you need is either infinite purpose cleaner or universal clean and prep. If you want to go the less expensive route, route you can definitely get my heavy duty decon juice for my force field protection system lineup. Um, that is not necessarily as potent, but it is uh, easier on your clay bar than uh, the infinite purpose cleaner, but the universal clean and prep is about the same on your clay. Totally different cleaning uh, agent in there. But IPC works fantastic. Universal Clean and Prep works fantastic. And then the heavy duty decon juice obviously will as well. So we've got those particles still on this section where I haven't done any of the work. Over here. I'm sure hoping this is coming up in the camera. They're everywhere. But if you'll notice where I've done they're all gone. And the benefit of that clay bar is that we're not scratching up the paint. The paint's still gonna look fantastic. I'm not going to need to cl uh, clay bar afterwards, which is why I recommend the Infinite Purpose Cleaner or the Universal Clean and Prep uh, when you're using uh, the clay bar and you're trying to remove these heavy metal particles or overspray, uh, that clay bar is going to keep you from having all that extra work, especially if you're a pro detailer and you've got multiple overspray jobs to do. They already are very time consuming, but why not try to save yourself some time by using products that are known to not only get the job done, but get them more, done more efficiently and a better end result while allowing you to enjoy your time uh, and or if you're a pro detailer it allows you to have more time to work on other vehicles to make more money in a day so i'm going to go ahead since you see the obvious result it's fantastic super smooth really gritty and gross on this side i'm hoping you guys can see those particles but there aren't any on the part i uh, have already clayed But that's it, no heavy, no ferrous metal particle remover, iron removing product needed. Uh, it's a gimmick in my opinion, especially when you can get universal clean and prep or infinite purpose cleaner for far yet less per use when it works better and you can clay with it to ensure that you're not scratching the paint uh, prior to applying any uh, protective product or even polishings. Okay, I had to just fast forward this situation just because I still gotta do the truck. Like I said, I didn't do the full one system on this car, but what I did really focus on was uh, the rail dust removal because it was nasty. So, it got a wash with universal shampoo as you saw. Uh, and then I scrubbed everything down, including the wheels, the brake calipers, and all of that. Uh, I clayed the whole car with the Universal Clean and Prep and my Japanese clay bar and removed all of that rail dust. Now, if you're looking right where the uh, sun is, the paint is not flawless. It is not perfect. Perfection is not reality, and it doesn't bother me. So... Uh, this is kind of where it's going to be. I'm going to use the car. It's not going to sit in a museum. So it's going to get it's going to get dirty. It's going to get a swirl or two and I'm fine with that. First of all, I can fix them. But beyond that, I can show you how to do it if uh you have any questions or anything like that. This area where all that rail dust was is completely contamination free. Yeah, you see love bugs are out now. There's pesky little varmints. Anyway, so like I said, washed with universal shampoo. I got everything super clean. And then I clay barred, like I mentioned, with universal clean and prep as the lube. And my Japanese ultra fine grade Japanese clay bar uh, to remove the contamination. 
all of that rail dust and that kind of thing. I'm a little upset about a couple of different things. That S is actually, that sticker is on the inside. I'm going to get that out when I do the interior in a little bit. Uh, I'm not going to bother with that today. I wiped the door jams out and it's pretty clean. I'm waiting on my Husky weather beater floor mats to come in. And then I'll just wipe the interior down, give it a quick vacuum and throw those mats in. No big deal. Uh, anyway, I will be removing that uh, when I get to the interior. Again, not doing that today. Um, I'm a little dissatisfied with just how the all these spots on the vinyl wrap. Uh, these spots, I, I can't seem to remove them. I feel like I'm going to be doing more harm than good if I try. It is a matte uh, finish so there's not a whole lot I could do as far as polishing uh, the other thing is there's a big ass scratch right here which does not make me happy you can see it right there but it is what it is I still have to wipe that windshield on the outside but everything's good uh, after I clayed it I went ahead and shot it with the uh, universal shampoo from the foam cannon uh, shot it and soaked it down and then I just went with them some clean water in a bucket and wiped the whole thing down I wanted to remove all the universal clean and prep since I was using lots of it uh, I don't want any of that to stay on the seals for uh, an exterior extended period of time uh, it probably won't hurt anything but it's always best practice to rinse it off when you can um, when you're just doing a spray and wipe to strip and prep um, there's no real need, well there's definitely no need to hose it down and wash, but uh, I did because I used uh, 16 ounces, actually I put 2 ounces in a six, two ounces of universal cleaning prep in a 16 ounce bottle and then filled it up with water. Uh, so that's how I cleaned this thing and got all the contamination off. But after I did the second wash with universal shampoo, um, I dried it off cleaned the wheels really well, and then everything on the exterior, including the wheels, brake calipers, paint, trim, um, the vinyl wrap, the windows, uh, everything got the um, Infinite Use Detail Juice 1 direct to paint all over it. I put a heavy coat on the windshield. I have to wipe all that off. No big deal. This I actually used the brand new uh, Gary Dean Wash Method purple drying towel um, that will be on detailsjuice.com. By the time you see this video, it'll be it'll be live. Oh, that stuff's on the inside. All right, so I got to clean the interior windows. No big deal. So that's it. Uh, I don't really love tire gel. I don't really use it personally. Uh, I, I I just don't like it i clean i use the universal clean and prep on the wheels calipers barrels the tires all that and i got everything really clean but i don't i don't prefer tire shine i, I don't use it on my truck either i just don't like it i don't know personal opinion uh like i mentioned before i got the car without these corner caps on so i i put those on um, i also had to drill drill the holes in the bumper for the license plate uh the dealer didn't do that i mean they literally did nothing exactly what i asked them to do was nothing the shine is intense again no polishing was done nothing all i did was a solid decontamination job with universal clean and prep and my clay bar and then this gloss and it is incredibly slick uh, was obtained with a solid coat of Infinite Use Detail Juice 1 direct to paint uh, straight out of the bottle. No dilution, straight to paint. It looks absolutely stunning. Uh, again, the Infinite Use Detail Juice 1 could be used on gloss and matte finishes with no problem at all, as you see here. And that has been just a basic detail on my 2019 camaro 2ss 1le it looks phenomenal uh, i might give it a polish at some point it's it's fine for me I, i'm happy with the way it looks uh, i'm not a perfectionist perfection isn't reality and i don't have time 
to be chasing my tail all day in and out uh, you know trying to remove every little hairline scratch or any of that if it's glossy and looks presentable and my products are represented well on the car I'm cool with it so I'm very happy with this Check out Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation. It's a group on Facebook where we talk about only my products, my processes, and what I've got going on. Uh, you will see far more videos on my brand new Camaro. But uh, the only real thing I'm unhappy with about this car is that uh, vinyl on the hood. Uh, it's, it's a very solid quality installation, but just the uh, vinyl has those spots that I just can't stand. Anyway, thanks guys for watching. Again, this paint color is called Shock. Uh, and if you've got questions for me, leave it in the comments below. Uh, and uh, check out my group on Facebook. Check me out on Instagram at gary.dean.35. That's G-A-R-R-Y dot D-E-A-N dot 35. Thanks again for watching, guys. Have a wonderful day.